And we do want to begin tonight at 6 o'clock with some breaking news involving a case out of Buffalo that was seen all around the world. It was during last summer's unrest that a protester was pushed to the ground and injured by Buffalo police. And tonight we have learned that there will be no charges against those two officers. That was the announcement made by Erie County District Attorney John Flynn just an hour ago. Two on your sides, Leanne Stuck, is live in Buffalo and she has the latest details. Leanne? Yeah, that's right. Scott Mary Alice District Attorney John Flynn just made that announcement moments ago that a grand jury decided to dismiss the felony assault charges against two Buffalo police officers that spurred from an incident this summer in Niagara Square. Now, BPD officers Aaron Torgalski and Robert McCade were involved in an incident last June where a protester, 75 year old Martin Gugino, was seen on video being shoved to the ground during a protest outside of City Hall. Gugino suffered a fractured skull from the incident and the video garnered national attention. Today, Flynn said that he stands by his decision to charge the officers last year. He said the video speaks for itself. He said it took this long to go to a grand jury because grand juries were shut down. Flynn said grand juries are secret proceedings, so he's not able to give many details, but he did say this. The video was the main piece of evidence on day one that you all saw and was seen internationally, okay? The video was the main evidence seen on, you no, know, that we got on day one, and today, it's still the main evidence. And Flynn said he understands that this opens him up to criticism for charging the officers before a grand jury proceeding, but he did say today that he stands by that decision. And we're gonna have much more coming up on this story coming up tonight at 11. Live in Buffalo, Leanne Stock, Channel 2 News. All righty, Leanne, thank you. We also got an update from Buffalo Police just moments ago. They say officers Aaron Torgalski and Robert McCabe are still currently suspended pending the conclusion of an internal investigation. And just a few moments ago, I had the chance to speak on the phone with Martin Gugino. He is the protester who was at the center of this incident. I asked him for his reaction to today's decision. Now, he says he accepts the jury's decision and feels that this was a reflection of where things are in the country today. Even now, knowing how it all turned out that I got, I got pushed down, was unconscious, and, and the jury said that's fine. Uh, no, that's all. It, it really has been... I think uh, perfect. It's fine. I mean, I, I would not. I mean, now if I had known, I, it certainly was unexpected. I didn't expect to be pushed down or didn't expect to be injured. I really, I've never had any worries about that kind of thing ever before in my life. And I've talked to police many times. Uh, but this is what happened, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's interesting. It's another fact. We will continue following this developing story and have the latest for you tonight at 10 and 11.